Hi everybody, if you love 911 here, um, this video goes along with my pictures tutorial, and I'm going to show you the short little intro I made for my game. Um, I'm going to show you the playtest right now, and I'll explain it later. There you go, that's my short little intro that I made, and in case you were wondering, that was all using pictures. Now the way that I did that, this is my script for it, it's four pages long. Um, you can make them a lot shorter than this, but uh, so the first part of this, I have music playing in the background, so I, uh, I start off with that, um, because I want it to happen instantaneously. I have waiting 86 frames just random number that I put in. That leaves a uh, black screen up for a short period of time. And then I have um, my picture showing. I have my first picture, which I'll show you. It says, what would you do? And I've made it custom, um, custom lettering and uh, yeah. And I will show you the website for that after this. So I have my number set to no, uh, number one. I have the position that I want it. I have it Y uh, 365. So it starts lower on the screen. Um, then I have it moving. Um, I have it moving to the right by 50 marks. And that will make it uh, slide across the screen. I have it waiting 40 frames because that's how long it takes uh, to move. So it gives it that time. And then I have it fading out. Um, or no, I have it uh, moving even further over 30 frames. And I pretty much do the same thing with all of these, with all those uh, pictures. But I start off in different places and moving so like the second graphic that I have going it is it says if everything you had and I have it starting um, a little bit above my first picture but starting on the far right side and moving left so mess around with the X and Y coordinates and find where you want it and where you want it to move and I pretty much did that with all these pictures now I've seen a, a bunch of cool games that start off with the same concept but they use scrolls which is basically a picture that says um, basically a picture that says like the intro in words and then they have it starting at the top and scrolling downward um, or if you want to do the whole Star Wars type thing then you can have it starting at the bottom, moving upward, um, and shrinking, which you use the zoom down here. Um, yeah, you use the zoom, and yeah, you can change the uh, size of it. And uh, the way that you would make it move upward is by going to move picture, selecting which picture you want it to do and then changing the Y coordinate, uh, making it less, and that would make it move upward. So after that, after I have those three pictures, I have it uh, the music fading out, then I erase all the pictures, and then it switches the second screen on. So then I have it flashing, playing the sound effect of fire, I have background sound of fire going, um, I have the screen flash again, and then I have my flames, and this is, this was a GIF image that I found, actually I made, um, on the website that I'm about to show you, and 
Um, I made it as a GIF image, and the flames moved. So I took a screenshot of each of the frames on the GIF and saved them all as pictures. So I have three different pictures here that um, they're all basically the same except for the flame position. So I have uh, these three pictures and what I did was I made them uh, I showed the picture, erased it showed the next picture, erased it, third picture, erased it, and then I repeated that as many times as I wanted. Um, so that it does it over and over and over again. So it's just this GIF image moving of uh, this word vendetta with flames on it. So at the very end of it, I erase all the pictures, fade out the background sound, which is uh, the fire, the flames, and then I have it transferring to my new app. So, you guys have any questions on this? Um, if you want any tips on what to do with your game, uh, anything, don't be afraid to leave comments or give me uh, send me messages. Don't forget to subscribe for my new videos. Rate me five stars, leave comments, all that good stuff. So, um, so now I'll show you that. Uh, that website. So here it is, um, cooltext.com and what this allows you to do is you create a picture and I'll show you what I used for my uh, burning ones. So this is the basic image right here. Um, it is a GIF image, meaning that it's a bunch of pictures run together to make it look like uh, something that's moving. And you can change the text, wh whatever you want it to say. Change the font that you want it to be. Um, text size, what color you want the uh, the wording to be. Um, you have flame angle, so you can have it uh, straight up, uh, which would be 90 degrees. Or no, I guess that would be zero. Um, right here, it's 15 degrees, which is 15 degrees to the right. You can barely see that it's uh, slanted, just the flames. Um, you can change the background color to it. I always keep it as white, just so it doesn't clash with anything else. Um, and in the game, when you import it, you can uh, select the white color to be your transparent. And then you, ren you hit Render Logo, and what that'll do is it will create your custom wording. Now, if you don't want a GIF image, um, come on, I will show you which I used for the words. Okay, so right here you click on Gothic. Um, this is the uh, font categories, which is a uh, um, which uh, font you're going to select for your words. You click on Gothic, scroll down until you find the one called, uh, let's see, VTC Tribal. And, yeah, there you go. Um, I'll show you what this looks like afterward. There you are. You can change the color to make it darker if you want. I personally don't like just the white chrome looking. Um, I make it a little bit gray. And you click on download image and it will save the image to your desktop or wherever you have your downloaded uh, files sent to. Um, the, the font that I used for my flames is also under gothic and it's called Librit. And that's right here. And there you go. I like this font a lot. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, don't forget to leave comments. Um, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.